This recipe is a way to make popcorn even more snackable and delicious, and I would say downright magical, with the help of a very unexpected ingredient. So this is very, very special occasion because our good friend of the show, Deb, Deb Perlman is here to show us this incredibly delightful and I would say magical recipe. So you can be our magical elf to show us how we can turn this pile of kale into an amazing snack recipe. It all came from you tasting kale chips, and what was your reaction to kale chips? Um, I thought they were awful. <laughs> I was like, why am I being punished? <laughs> why are we doing this to children? Why are we teaching children to think that these are chips? I know, I'm like a parent and I should be all for this, but I just, I don't know, I made them, there was this point, I don't know, was it like 2008 or 2011 where like everyone was like, kale chips, kale chips, and I made them and I was like, these are kind of, I just thought they were terrible. And so, um, I did what to me seemed like the only logical thing, which was I ground them up into a powder and I sprinkled them over popcorn instead. And I love it because you were literally eating like a pound of salad <laughs> greens, but you also get to eat popcorn too, which is my actual favorite snack. So we were, we're gonna start. Yes. Uh, and we're gonna start by making kale chips mm -hmm. because you have to start with kale chips yes. to do more interesting things with the kale chips. I usually just like use a knife and strip these out, but how do you like to do it? I know some people do their hands. I know some people, they do the stripping thing, but I feel like that might work a little bit better for the curl. Ooh, no, oh, uh, we did it. Hey. Okay, so it's a little. there's a little risk. I don't wanna like tear up the whole piece, but this is, probably how I would do it these days. It doesn't really matter that the leaf is perfect because we're going to be roasting it up. Actually, this does a pretty good job of just taking out the toughest part. The toughest yeah, part. it kind of like naturally breaks off where this is small enough that it'll exactly. get dried. And you're like, look at me and my greens ripping skills. And then we're gonna put on a baking sheet. Yes. And I actually like to be really cautious of the amount of oil I put on. I'm really just trying to get it to not stick to the tray because you want it to be a dry powder, not an oily powder. I'm sure the kale chips might taste better with more oil, but we're really just going for like the dehydration effect. So you want to just lay it out um, as close to like a single layer as you can. If a little overlapping happens, it's okay. This is going to shrink to half the size in about four seconds. So mm -hmm. you can always rearrange once it's been in for a minute or two. These look like little like little legs. Yeah, there's like, I don't know, there's like, like octopus or like something like well, yeah, like the um, jellyfish. Yes, at, that's at what I was the thinking. Aquarium. That's the word. <laughs> we already rinsed these and dried them, but you say in the recipe, it it doesn't matter if all of the droplets of water are off, which is very comforting because I probably would have tried to blot them all off. And then this, you say, you know, the thinnest coat of oil is fine, and it is. All you're doing is trying to get them to not glue themselves to the sheet. Everything you said is exactly right. Thank you. I'm so glad. I always really appreciate it when a recipe tells me if I don't need to. Um, I don't have to get it fully dry. And we're using fine sea salt here, right? Mm -hmm. I should know this, but um, I just like it because it sticks with popcorn and stuff. It really sticks better to use a fine sea salt rather than the coarse ones that we love the crunch of. And then it's 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And when it comes out, it looks like... <gasps> Ooh, big reveal. Whoop, look at that. Look what you did. It's so amazing. It's so Isn't easy. Crazy? It's so fun, right? Hey kids, here's the chips. <laughs> I don't know why my children are crying. <laughs> and this is the fun part. Are you ready? Yes. This is the fun part. I'm, this is so like, this satisfying. Is, this is so enjoyable. Like, you guys can have, you can have your bubble wrap. <laughs> I crunch kale and some powders. I feel like a chemist. So you can just start bashing that down as I throw it in. It's going to have a really good. Mm -hmm. Dave, you want to come check this out? That crunch is amazing. <laughs> It smells so green. It really does. It's so virtuous. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do yeah, that. go for it. All right, so we're gonna get in here. I mean, you don't want any big old pieces, so you're just gonna keep bashing it up. Oh, it's such a beautiful green. It really is, especially once you sprinkle it over the popcorn. Um, should I warn people, like what? maybe if you're eating this at a party, like oh. it's definitely, I mean, I don't need to tell you, right? Like it is good party food, but you have to be a good friend to your friends at parties and tell them what they have massive flecks of food in their teeth, okay? Because it's gonna happen. I ate a salad today. <laughs> oh, like that meme of women laughing eating salad. Oh my gosh, we can just do it. <laughs> <laughs> women love salad. Mm.
I always do popcorn on the stovetop, although I hear air poppers are wonderful. This is a really nice way to also infuse the popcorn with the olive oil flavor you want. So even though you only need a couple tablespoons to pop popcorn, because we're also using this as the seasoning and flavoring, I'm using um, four to five. And there should be a nice amount of drama happening soon. Yes. I do shake it up a couple times just to make sure it's cooking evenly. It's funny because this is such a kid snack and it's not even what I was thinking about. This was like a completely selfish snack. I was like, I want to eat a bowl of salad with my popcorn. It was nothing, it was never about like tricking kids into eating kale or whatever, because they probably don't have the same issues with kale chips that I do. Mm -hmm. It was always just about something for me. Although I'm sure that should you share it with children, it could also work as a nice after school snack. This is such a fun way to make popcorn. You do not get this when you make popcorn in a microwave bag. No, there's no fun in it at all. The trick is you just want to get it off before you know, it could burn. Burny. Exactly. What? <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. <laughs> it's so fun though. I'm, like, I'm definitely not going to make a mess. Yeah, come on, one more drama. No, we did it. All right, so I'm gonna dump this into the bowl. Perfect. And piping wow. hot. And this is the best time to season it. We're gonna put in the salt. We're gonna put in the pepper. And I am going to, you can pre-measure it, of course, but I'm gonna just microplane this right on. And then I'm gonna toss it a little bit, but I'm gonna get some more on. And this way, I just want it to stick while it's hot. Or get little cheesy clumps. That's not a bad thing either. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna put the, the magic dust in. You ready? Oh, it smells so green. And then I, this one, I try not to toss too much because it's gonna find its way to the bottom of the bowl mm -hmm. without your help. And I have a little more pepper on. And I'm putting my cheese on top. Amazing. <laughs> All right, I'm going in. Are you going in? I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm doing it. We're going in. Going in. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. It's so good. I know it's mine, so I'm like, it's so good. <laughs> no. But it but really is. Like, when has popcorn tasted this flavorful? It's so interesting tasting. <laughs> Yeah, and this is really not about hiding kale. This is a celebration of kale. This is like, oh my gosh, look what kale can do. I have no interest in like snaking food either. I just, um, I think, you know, once you have something kind of dehydrated already, like it's so fun to see what else you can use it for. I've also played around with using the kale dust on avocado toast mm -hmm. or on like a scrambled egg toast. There's like a lot of different places where you can put it on where you wouldn't necessarily get greens, but it really adds a nice, like, more dynamic flavor. So there's lots of things you can do with your kale dust, but first make this magic fairy mm -hmm. dust popcorn. Thank you so much, Deb. Thanks for having me. This is the best. <laughs>